USS Constitution's figurehead has changed over the ship's history. A figurehead is a carved wooden sculpture at the very front of a ship. A figurehead was a symbol for the ship that would bring protection in battle and to ward off danger. They also served to help identify the ship. Figureheads were chosen in a range of subjects. Female figures were most common, important people in society, animals, or imagined creatures like a dragon. For USS Constitution, figures of leadership and heroism would be chosen. The ship's first figurehead was Hercules, a great hero in Greek and Roman mythology. The Hercules figurehead unfortunately was destroyed in a collision in 1804. Hercules was replaced by a series of decorative scrolled woodwork called billet heads, which would have been on the ship during the War of 1812. Two figureheads of President Andrew Jackson once adorned the prow of the ship in the 1800s. Since 1874, the ship has featured a variety of billet heads. One even depicted a dragon meant to send a symbolic message to enemies in wartime. Today, USS Constitution features a billet head at her bow. to show you how I'm going to make a cobra for my figurehead and I'll give you some tips but perhaps you have some great building techniques that you already know how to do so here's uh, a nice couple clumps of clay that's air dry clay I have some uh, water nearby and a toothpick and an old paintbrush um, and some other materials maybe I'll use some Legos here to make some imprints. So you can think of some different items you can use to make some cool textures in your clay. So the water is important because it'll help us smooth out any cracks. So you want to work on your clay and you know start out with a nice ball here. And I thought a cobra might be kind of fun to make. I'm gonna do the top part. I might have extra clay here I'll pinch off. And I'm gonna go ahead and start making that face. And when you're working with the clay, you wanna think about all the sides. So as you keep turning it around, I'm gonna make, the cobra has that great wide top here. And I'm gonna start folding it around. Make the face like that. And when you have some cracks like that, you can use a brush you don't care about and you can smooth it out or you could just use your fingertip too but it will start getting a little sticky so you might want to wait until you're kind of done forming though to do that it does get sticky all right so i'm going to do that that big um shape here with the cobra and i'm going to work my way down and start pressing down you put some tin foil down something that won't stick you can roll parts here. Also use your print brush to do some indents here. find it's round that you can use to lean your, your cobra on. Get rid of some of those cracks right there just by using a little bit of water on my fingers. You will need to lean it on something or lean it down because it will start, if you just leave it like this, it will start to fall. Okay, 
So I think I'm going to do it like this and see how it dries. And lean it a little bit. Make sure it stands. Motion, particularly away from my cobra. So I think I'm going to leave it leaning a little bit on this part so it doesn't doesn't um, squish the back of my tail. Alright, so figure out a nice way to Get it in a position that you feel like it will dry just the way you want it. If this is going to roll like this, maybe you have a couple other, I have a couple other products that I use, or I have a lot of paint cans, so I tend to use those a lot for leaning things. Alright, and that looks like it's ready for drying. 